Hello guys. This is grade 3 nucleus for phacoemulsification with corneal endothelium. You get tata lesions at the central cornea, suggesting poor endothelial count. So we decided to proceed with a phacoemulsification with the help of a pre-chopper where I can save some amount of ultrasound energy and thus prevent damage to endothelial cells. It was temporal phaco with 2.6 mm keratome. Chondroitin sulfate is also used along with HPMC to protect endothelial cells. Five point five millimeter rexis markers used, and rexis is completed with cystitome. Notice the hydro dissection wave and a nice rotation of a nucleus. Once you confirm nucleus is nicely rotated, you can proceed for pre-chopper. I have a chopper in my left hand through side port and a pre-chopper through 2.6 mm main port in my right hand. I am going below the anterior capsule with left hand and giving support for pre-chopper to enter into the nucleus. Once I entered enough depth of a nucleus to break it, I open the pre-chopper blades and break the nucleus into two pieces. Though the separation does not look like full as the cataract was grade 3 and a bit leathery. I decided to debulk the bag so that I will get more space for pre-chopper to use conveniently. So I went with a FACO handpiece and removed the cortical matter with the help of FACO aspiration in foot pedal position 2. Now I have enough space to use my pre-chopper, again formed anterior chamber with visco and pre-chopped remaining two pieces of a nucleus into two halves each. Supporting with left hand, a proper depth of insertion of a pre-chopper is must for successfully dividing the nucleus. Keep anterior chamber formed if you have shallow anterior chamber. You need a bit of patience to use a pre-chopper as it takes more time than a normal FACO. But it will definitely help in cases where corneal endothelium is at risk. Once the nucleus is divided into four pieces, I am proceeding with my routine FACO emulsification procedure. You can notice the nucleus is a bit hard and leathery, it is not getting separated easily. If I would have gone directly with the FACO emulsification, it would have taken a lot of energy to divide this nucleus into four pieces.
Thus, in this scenario, pre-chopper has helped me a lot. Once nucleus is fully emulsified, cortical matter is removed with the help of a coaxial IA probe and a foldable IOL implanted in the bag. Clean the visco nicely from the bag and below the IOL. Hope you have enjoyed this case. You can try pre-chopper in such cases. Thank you for watching.